Congratulations on buying one of the finest espresso cappuccino makers on the market. The Cafe Cappuccino will provide you with the rich taste and elegance of European coffee making in the convenience of your own home. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how to make and enjoy the perfect cup of espresso or cappuccino. And it'll be every bit as delicious, every bit as authentic as the espresso or cappuccino that's been served in the finest restaurants in the world since the idea of rapidly brewing a rich, intensely robust coffee originated over 100 years ago. Just as there are many flavors of wine to choose from, so there are many varieties of coffee, each with a distinctive flavor and aroma. Keep in mind when shopping for coffee, a darker roasted bean will provide a richer, more flavorful cup of coffee than the lightly roasted beans. Try some of them. Different coffees can be a wonderful adventure for you and your guests. Let's take a closer look at your new Cafe Cappuccino machine. There are five major components. The reservoir cap with safety valve. This is where you'll pour the proper amount of water. The steam jet with the specially designed froth boosting tip designed to make frothing easier. The filter basket and holder. Note that no paper filter is required. The carafe with lid. And note the clearly marked gradations showing the froth level on the side of the carafe. And finally, the integrated control system knob. More detailed explanations are available in the instruction and warranty book, which comes with your cafe cappuccino machine. This should be saved for future reference. Be sure to read it after viewing this videotape, especially the important safeguards found on page two. Before using your cafe cappuccino machine for the first time, we suggest you let water only run through the unit two times to thoroughly cleanse the unit. That done, let's make some espresso. Make sure that the switch is in the off position. Fill the carafe with two to four cups of water and pour the water into the reservoir. Close the cap tightly. Do not open or even touch this cap. During the brewing process, it becomes very hot. Place the filter basket into the filter holder. Using the measuring scoop, fill the filter basket with the desired amount of coffee. Note the lines indicating the two or four cup levels. We recommend a fine drip grind coffee. A fine powdery grind is too fine for the cafe cappuccino. The coffee will cake in the basket and block the flow of water. Now, secure the filter holder in position by aligning the arrow in the semicircle and follow the guideline on the right until it is locked at the full circle. Snap the cover onto the carafe and place it on the drip tray. Rotate the lever to the brew position, and in about four minutes you have coffee. European style, espresso at its very best. When the espresso has stopped flowing, turn the lever to the off position. Pour into a demi-tasse cup and enjoy the rich, romantically robust flavor of your own espresso coffee. Cappuccino, a delightful blend of espresso coffee and frothy steamed milk, can be prepared with only a few additional steps. When adding the water, add an extra amount right up to the steam level indicator for two cups or to the metal band for four cups. Before turning on the espresso maker, fill a frothing pitcher about halfway with cold, whole, or skim milk. Do not use cream or half and half. Turn the lever to the brew position and wait for the coffee to begin flowing. At that point, hold the pitcher by the handle and insert the steam jet just under the surface of the milk. With your free hand, rotate the steam control lever forward towards the steam markings. Move the pitcher in a circular motion which will froth the milk. Then after a foam head is built up, quickly insert the steam jet to the bottom of the pitcher for two to three seconds in order to warm the milk. Now, switch the lever back to the off position and then set the pitcher down. Reopen the steam jet again to assure the jet is clear of milk. If the steam jet hole clogs, allow the machine to cool. Remove the booster tip and insert a pin to unplug. Never use a toothpick. Return the control lever to the brew position. When the coffee has stopped flowing, turn the lever to the off position and gently pour equal amounts of espresso and steamed milk into the cup. Top the coffee with broth, sprinkle with cinnamon, nutmeg, or chocolate shavings. 
The Cafe Cappuccino has another special feature. If you want to only froth milk or, say, preparing iced coffee or iced cappuccino, simply follow all the preparation instructions outlined earlier, bypassing the steps for actually brewing coffee. Just add water to the tank, close the lid securely, prepare your milk and frothing picture, then follow the steps we've shown you earlier in the tape for frothing milk. Add your freshly frothed milk to the chilled coffee over ice, and you're ready for a refreshing drink any time of the year. Remember the owner's manual has a number of operational hints and important information on how to care for your new cafe cappuccino machine. We welcome you to the age of European coffee making with the Cafe Cappuccino. To purchase product accessories for this fine product, such as a set of demi-tasse cups, the frothing pitcher, or replacement parts, call toll-free 1-800-233-9054 between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time.